Hey guys, my name is Scobie. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a demonic voice in Audacity. This is going to be a nice, quick and easy tutorial. I'm going to give you a quick sample of what you can expect to get from this video, and I will jump into it showing you step by step how to make it. You are the chosen one. You will like and comment this video right now, otherwise... Now that we've heard what it sounds like, I'm going to give you a quick sample of what it sounds like before we do any editing, and I'm going to be showing you how to recreate the process we just made. You are the chosen one. You will like and comment this video right now, otherwise I will eat your soul. So right now without any editing, it sounds a little bit stupid, so the first thing we're going to be doing is coming up to Effect in Audacity, and we're going to be coming to Change Pitch. From here we're going to be grabbing the pitch on the bottom and it should be somewhere center from the beginning. You can change it either with the percentage change down here or you can use this little drag and drop thingy at the bottom. From here we're going to be dragging it to the left and we're looking for a nice even number somewhere not too high, not too low. So above 50 I would say approximately. There's a little bit of trial and error depending on your audio. But to give a sample of what it'll sound like you can click the preview button down here at the bottom to give a listen. Yeah, that's good. It's a little bit too much. You're, you're kind of trying to get a good mix of, I can understand what you're saying, but it's still kind of intense and intimidating. If you go too much, it goes completely inaudible. So I'm thinking maybe around 40 might be good here. I'm going to click OK on this and our settings are going to be added into the audio clip. Now that we have that demonic voice effect, our next step is to add some reverb and that's to give like a more echoey effect to sound like we're more in like a big open room and we're this big evil monster with this like really demanding voice. A reverb just adds like a kind of slight delay echo to the actual voice. In this case, we're going to come up to effect and we're going to be going to reverb. Now reverb can seem a little bit intimidating at first, but we're really only going to be paying attention to the first four or five options here. The first one is the room size percentage, and this is how wide you want your sound to play. Now there's a little bit of playing around with to kind of get used to a reverb, because it's kind of an odd concept if you're not really familiar with it. But the room size is going to determine how big your echo is, and how wide it sounds. And that might sound like a weird way to describe audio as wide, but once you play around with these settings, you'll kind of understand it. Your delay is going to be the delay between the voice speaking and the actual reverb or the echo of it. The reverberance is going to be how much it bounces and how wide it is also. It's similar to room size, but it's more about the bouncingness. And the damping is going to be how much the sound is absorbed by the, the materials around this supposed imaginary room that we're creating. So I'm going to leave the settings as is. You can kind of copy these if you wish. And we're going to give a quick preview to sounds what it sounds like. You can kind of hear that echoey like jumpiness in the background. It kind of gives that nice full feel to the demonic voice. I'm going to add a bit more to the room size in this case to just see how that sounds to see if I like that a bit more. In this case, I think it works. I think I'm going to add a small more uh, pre-delay. So I'm just going to make this to 10 milliseconds and give that a quick listen. I think that's the perfect mix. This is a little bit of trial and error. It can depend on the mic you're using. It can depend on the loudness of your volume. It can depend on a couple different variants, but I think this is a nice option in this case. I'm going to click OK and accept that. And now we've added our reverb and it just gives that nice, clean, demonic effect. We'll give this one more listen over and we'll just make sure everything sounds crisp. You are the chosen one. You will like and comment this video right now. Otherwise... I can just imagine that zooming in, slowly fading to red. Oh, it's so good. It's so evil. It's such an easy effect that's really easily implemented in Audacity. And there's two real little steps. It's just a little bit of playing around. It's really not that intimidating as it looks. I know the reverb has a lot of kind of settings going on. If you're not really familiar with it, it can be a little bit intimidating. But it's really easy to maneuver and it's really easy to manipulate to make it sound like however you want. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to drop a like. Subscribe if you're new. I'm going to leave my Audacity playlist in the description down below if you want to check out my other Audacity videos i've made a bunch of different things showing you the basics showing you how to make some other voice effects and some really other cool little things you can do in audacity i'm also going to leave my paypal down below if you found this video helpful and you want to support the channel of course there's no pressure if you can't anyway guys thank you so much for watching until next time as always keep it saucy peace